Joining us is Dr. Jackie Lee, extension entomologist. Jackie, I want to talk today about one of the most important uh, pests of pecans, and that's the pecan nut case bearer. Tell me a bit about this insect. Yeah, so the pecan nut case bearer um, is an early season pest, and it's one of the primary pests of pecans. Um, it's a moth, it's gray and about a third of an inch long. And the larvae are actually what damage the pecan nuts. Okay, and so. how do they damage the nuts? So um, they emerge just around the time of pollination um, in pecan trees, and they'll actually burrow into the nutlets, mm -hmm. and it'll cause the, the pecan tree to abort those nuts that they feed on. So. Okay, so this is gonna require some early season control, but how do we know when to go about controlling those? That's a good question, mm -hmm. Kim. And we actually have um, a great system for monitoring for a pecan nut case bear using pheromone traps. Okay, I and mean, we brought one of those today. Um, talk about the trap first. Okay, so this is um, a Trace Farrakhan 6 trap, but there's many different types of wing traps that you can use. Um, I like this one because um, you can open up the end mm -hmm. and easily remove the liner. Mm -hmm. And this liner has a sticky substance on it. And in the middle, you can see the little rubber, what we call septum, that is impregnated with the pheromone. And that pheromone is attractive to male pecan nut case bear moths. And so essentially, uh, this trap draws in the moths and gets them stuck in the glue right. so that we can count them and know that they're present in the landscape. That's right, Kim. Okay, so where do we want to put these? So um, you want to put these in the lower canopy of the pecan tree, mm -hmm. <clears throat> close to where the nutlets are developing. And this is a little low, but I thought, uh, our, we have a pretty mature tree. Right. If you have a smaller tree, it's easier to get into that canopy. But I think the most important thing is it's you can get to it. It's accessible right. so that you could take it down and check for and the insects. And it will still be functional because this pheromone um, is actually dispersed um, through the wind. And we have plenty of wind in Oklahoma, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and how many of these do we need in a, a typical homeowner's landscape? Just one trap okay. will do just fine. Jackie, once we've found the adults, the moths in our trap, then we need to start looking for the eggs, right? Right, Kim. Actually, you want to start looking for the eggs about seven to 10 days after that first um, trap catch. And you'll look for the eggs um, the nut in the nutlets. So the developing nutlets um, will be around in this area um, and by the bud and the catkins. So right now we have our flowers, but that, at the base of those flowers is where the nuts are gonna start right, developing. Right, right, and that's where you wanna look for that egg. Okay, and how many eggs indicates that we, we need to do something? So for a homeowner, um, I would look at the lower branches, the nutlets, um, in a couple different areas on the tree. Mm -hmm. And if you find eggs, um, I would apply an insecticide. And um, what product can we use? You know, BT, which stands for Bacillus thuringiensis, um, works very well. Okay, and yeah. that's a very um, benign product. It doesn't affect our non-target species, humans, the environment, so that's right. a good product. It really, really is. So it keeps all of those natural enemies out there mm -hmm. um, available to control pest um, later on in the season. All right, so. and we want to direct those pesticides at uh, those clusters um, where the nuts are developing. Right, right, at those developing nutlets. Okay, and there's some right. wonderful resources available online. Uh, tell me about those. Yeah, so um, the Pecan IPM pipe has a risk map, and you can log on, look at the map, and actually see where Pecan Nut Case Bear has been reported. So it's a great resource to look and see if it may be close to you. We also have uh, an OSU fact sheet available online as well with lots of information. That's right, that's right. And I encourage everyone to check it out. All right, well, thank you so much for uh, teaching us about this pest. Thanks, Kim.